Hello everyone, I'm Amadonio and welcome to a video about the Space Hulk Deathwing Beta. Please keep in mind that this is, this is my opinion of the beta and this isn't my opinion of the released game. Also, this is the review. I just want to share my thoughts and tell you if I think the game will be worth buying based on the beta. So I have played the beta for just over an hour now and I must say that I have had difficulties with running the game. This was mainly because of my recording device, so I had to disable it for multiplayer. Despite this, I was still able to play the game fine. The tutorial is simple, basic and includes everything you need to know, so n no complaints about that. But this is not what the game is about of course. The multiplayer is your standard co-op multiplayer shooter up to 4 players, having to, to, to go through the level accomplishing set goals with the exception of this game being set in the Warmer 40k universe. It is quite a different environment and going through these levels is kind of interesting, for the first time at least. The locations are unique and look beautiful, even though the graphics tend to be disappointing at max set settings according to some people. Gunplay feels satisfying, but the enemies feel really, how do you say this, lifeless. The only animations you will see are running and some attack animations. On death, they will go almost immediately to Ragdoll. Also, the gore is disappointing for the warmer universe. I have to say that it did a kind of good job on the horde mechanic since you get surrounded pretty quickly, but the minimap you get at all times can make levels pretty easy since you don't have to find out how big the next room is or where the enemies can come from like in warmer Fermatide. Some people compared this to Fermatide. But I think these games shouldn't be compared, except for the mechanics they share. They are both co-op games, yes. But one is set in a sci-fi setting with bugs called gene stealers. And the other one is set in a fantasy setting with rats called Skaven. I think the level system is good. But I found that I leveled up a little bit too much. But that could be to make people progress faster in the beta. It's cool that you can unlock new weapons and add some replayability to the game. However, I'm afraid the maps, enemies and objectives will become old after a while and eventually will become a chore to play. In the beta, you didn't get any reward if you failed the mission. However, I think you should be given out a small reward after each objective you completed. Do not turn people down too much on trying it again. Personally, I think the campaign is going to be really lackluster. Basically single player version of co-op with bots and the multiplayer is where you want to be. It can be fun with friends and there's great difficulty options. However it is kind of annoying the difficulty is based on how much damage you take since a few ranged hits from some gene, gene stealer can already take you down with you being a terminator. The healing ability and respawn time does make the game this game a little bit easier though. If you are a fan of 40k and a fan of co-op shooters I would say go for it. But if you're only a fan of one of those, I would say take a second look at it. It might not be as triple A pricing, it is still more expensive than some other good games out there, including Warmer Fermatide. If you have played the beta or watched the gameplay of it, please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I've been Amor Donio, thank you very much for watching.